Hi right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn how to wire up a set of three ways, guys. Stick around, guys. All right, so just so you know, first of all, let's get this out of the way. Look at this shirt, guys. You've got to trust me because I am an electrician. Same. So, look, I've done this video like four different times, and uh, every time it's come out to about 15 minutes. I'm going to try to make it a little less than that, and I'm going to instead of focusing more on me, I'm going to focus more on the switches because every time I've done it, I thought, I'll just show you what I'm doing from a distance. Well, I'm going to zoom in so you can actually physically see exactly what's going on a little better because if I was not understanding how to wire three-way, I would want to be able to look right at the switch, right at the wires, right at the box to say, oh, I see. So that's why I'm going to do this go around. So this will be take number four. All right, guys. So before we start this whole entire video, I'm going to go ahead and say a couple of things, okay? Uh, first of all, what I'm going to show you here is um, I've used something that I never use. This is just for demonstration purposes only. I do not have what I would consider correct. Now, this is just my opinion on what I'm getting ready to tell you only because I've seen... Um, well, let me show you first and I'll tell you why. Okay, This is the 3 wire that I'm using. So This is 14-3, okay? Now, obviously there's 4 wires as you can tell. Uh, you never count the ground whenever you say 12-3, 10-3, 14-3, so on and so forth, okay? You always just count the wires, all right? I never use 14-3 or 14-2 on anything. Now, why do I have it? Because uh, this is the only thing I use it for is smoke detectors, okay? There are many electricians that will probably watch this video and say... This guy has no idea what he's talking about. But you know what? I've been to people's houses where they run 14 gauge wire and then they correctly put it on a 15 amp breaker. Later on, you get another electrician coming in here. Well, they can't see what's behind the wall. So they'll add a receptacle and then somebody else will add a receptacle. Before you know it, you've got, you know, 10 or 15 more receptacles on, not really, but on a 14 gauge wire. It's starting to trip, so they put a 20 amp breaker in. So now you, you're, you know, it just it's not good you're not protected right so only thing I use 14 gauge wire for the only thing is this demonstration and smoke deckers now that we got that out of the way let's jump right on in here guys okay so this is a typical scene you know you got your boxes you've already pulled your wire in here you've got your light now obviously this could be um, the way it is you're doing new construction and you have an open wall okay uh, sometimes you already cut the box in the wall and now you're trying to figure out what you got all right so let's say you pull your wire in, you got a vacant wall just like this, all right? Your power on my wall is coming in the bottom, your travelers will be going at the top, and then your switch leg back up to your light, okay? Pretty cut and dry on this one, all right? This is pretty easy. There are many ways to do a three-way. This is the way that I plan on doing this one. We are going to start with the power box first, okay, guys? So when you come to your box here, okay, you'll have your grounds, you'll have, you'll have your travelers, and then you have your hots. Now, you should already know that your power's not on. Now, I've already checked mine. You know, you can go ahead and check it with the, one of these little meters. Just turn it on. And you see there's no power. Okay? Either, either, either box. All right. All right, so after you check there's no power, you got to make your grounds up. Now, like I said, I've already done this a couple times. So, as you can tell, they are already twisted. So... You'll have two wires the same length. You're going to twist them with your clines. So we'll pretend we're doing it. So you'll, you'll twist. All right. I like to use a green wire nut, as you can see. It's just a, it's just a green wire nut. It's got a little hole. Let's see if it'll focus in there. Probably not. Okay, so it's got a little hole on top of it. Okay. So all you got to do is take your one wire, slide it right down on there, and twist it on. All right, like so. All right, and we'll, we'll shove this one back in the box because we pretty much know that this is definitely 100% ground. All right, next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your neutrals. Like I said, there's many ways to make these boxes up. This is the way that I'm doing this one. This is the easiest route. There's like, there's literally several different ways to do it. All right, so all you're going to do is you're going to take your neutrals and you're going to twist them together. Like so. Alright. I'm going to stick a yellow or red wire nut on. 
I got red, so that's what I'm using. Alright, we'll push these out of the way. Push these back in the box. And what you're left with is a hot, which you know is a hot, because you pulled the wire, plus you can see two travelers. Pretty cut and dry, right? Alright. So what you want to do is you'll strip these out, which I've already done. We'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and restrip them. Alright. And like I said in previous videos, these little holes right here, that's how that's you can use these to twist your wires. So I'll show I'll go ahead and show you real quick, alright? So you stick your wire right through your hole, like so, and you just do a little curly cue. Same with this one, same with this one, and same with this one. So you are ready to roll. I always, like I've always told you, ground first, guys, every single time. Just get in the habit of that. And you're... So on a three-way switch, you're going to have some different colors, right? As you can see right here, you have a like a charcoal black colored you have a brass colored one and on the other side you have another brass colored one okay so when I started electrical we used to call this the point now it's just what we called it it's actually called the common on the back of the switch I don't know if it'll it'll zoom in or not but as you can see it says common on the back right there All right. also there's little holes in the back here just so you know Never, never, never stick your wire in there. Always put it around your screw. Um, I've already told you before in many videos, that is bad news, okay? So your common, your hot common, or your switch leg will go into this all the time. These brass screws right here are only for your travelers on the three-way, okay? That's all it is. So your hot goes there or your switch leg. When we get the switch leg aside, I'll show you. So on this switch, you'll put your hot right here on your common, on the on the gold or on the uh, black screw, and your travelers. And it does not matter at all, at all, which traveler goes to which. My preference, and it's just what I do every time. I'll put my um, hot here on this one, and then I'll put my black on this side because my black will be hot on this go around. So black will be there, my black will be there, and my red will be on this side. It's just preference. I can do it the other way. It doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and dive in here. And I'll show you how to put it on. So here's my hot wire. Now, it, it, another thing you can do is you can put a little piece of black tape on here or red tape or whatever you want just so you always will know what the um, hot is. That way, if you walk away from it for a couple days and you come back, you know, in the dry wash, put the dry wash up, you're like, uh, well, you'll know, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put this one on the black screw, right? Good call, guys. All right, because we know that that is the hot. All right, we'll put the black on the brass, like so. And then the red will be on the other brass screw. Okay, and we'll just push it right back in the box. Now you can put black tape around your switches I don't do it that's just preference all right let's move to the next switch guys all right so here we are again I've already went ahead and made the grounds up I left the neutrals out so we can go ahead and make them together okay and I've already bent all my curly cues that way the video is not 25 minutes long all right so you go ahead and you'll twist your wire always twist your wires guys always don't let the wire nut twist it yes I know the wire nut will twist but do not let the wire nut twist. To me, that's jack leg crap. All right. I know the bag says you can do that. Just don't do it. All right. What you're left with is your three ways. Okay. And then your common, or in this case, it's the switch leg going right up here. All right. Let's go ahead and put that switch on. Leg like ground first, guys. Every time. So I had a buddy of mine rewiring some houses and he asked me you know there was grounds in the box he asked me why would you still ground the switch even though it's plastic box and all that well because all this metal on this 
on this uh, switch cover, okay, when you put the cover on top of it, you still have metal screws going into your thing, so on, into your switch. So if you were to grab the switch, like barefooted, and uh, you went to touch it, and the screws on your plate were, you know, damaged a little bit, the paint weren't on it, and the metal was showing, you could possibly get a little tingle. So that's why you always grab your switch every single time. Alright, so we'll put the comment on first, or the switch leg in this case. And I'm going to show you how it doesn't really matter, okay? So you know I put both blacks on last time, on the same side. We'll go ahead and we'll put the red on this time, okay? Just, just so we can show you that it really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the commons being the hot on one side and the switch on the opposite side, okay? That's the only ones that matter. And like I mentioned, there are many ways to wire up a three-way. This is the easiest way, I think. Um, we may dive into a uh, different style of wiring later, but right now we're just going to stick with easy stuff. All right? And we'll push it right back in the box. All right, guys. Now is the moment of truth. All right? So what I got here is I have a blue bulb. Now, I had these in in the month of April because of uh, autism awareness. Um, if you're not, if you don't know anything about that, check it out. It's pretty interesting. And I've got a cousin actually with autism, plus a lot of my friends, well, not a lot of them, several of my friends have autism, and uh, they support me on everything that goes on in my life, and just the least I could do. So, you know, you go out and you buy some bulbs, put them in for a month. It's very good cause. All right, let's check these three ways, guys. Moment of truth, right? Oh, here we go. Let's switch this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's switch this one. It's off. Switch it back on here. Switch it back off here. Switch it off here. Switch it off there. Looks like it works, guys. All right, guys. There you have it. Pretty cut and dry. If you have any questions about this, anything at all, hit me up. I'll let you know what I know. It's pretty cut and dry. Uh, like I said, there's many options, many ways to do this. This is just an easy way to show anybody how to do it. Uh, you know, um, if you have any future thoughts on videos that you might want to see, uh, hit me up and let me know, and I'll see if I can uh, work that in. Guys, next video will be how to diagnose. I'm sure you've been to a house where you'll turn the switch off here, and you can't do anything from the other side. We're going to fix that problem. Guys, next video. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. God bless, and we will see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.